morning. You can go now. We'll call you when we want to. You know, Mrs. Berrigan, there are times when I regret. Are you still mad at me? I need 20 cc's of like and stat. Shit, I don't have a nurse. Ooh, I should get a nurse. That'd be so hot. What do you think, Lammy? Beautiful thing. This just says way. Yeah, I can't legally prescribe anything, but you know, can't hurt. Oh, okay. Hey, Doc, did you, did you really make me look like Ed Sheeran? I can't change who you are underneath these wraps, Liam. If you want to be a multiple Grammy Award winning artist, that takes guts. Yeah. And balls. Right. But you ask me, Doc, do I really look like the ginger who makes women quiver? My friend, you are his spinning image. Wow! Susie's going to love this. Thanks so much, Doc. Don't mention it. Now, <clears throat> just give her down those steps. Okay. Hey, uh, I'ma head out for a bit, so just hold down the four, if that's chill, yeah. Oh, and, uh, maybe when I get back, let's talk about ditching the eye patch. I don't know who you're trying to impress, but you look like you just came back from a seven-year-old's birthday party. And not as a seven-year-old. You look like a predator. No offense. Uh, happy birthday!
Jazz and Xanax? I'm good. You're that plastic surgeon, right? You don't look like a former patient of mine. Is that an insult or a compliment? Depends. Do you like flounders? I'm just going to talk to him, all right? I'll go up and calmly express our dissatisfaction with this service through constructive criticism. Inquire as to whether or not he has any sort of return policy, like maybe we qualify for a customer rewards program or something. Maybe a gift certificate. I'ma pick up the pieces and build a Lego house. <laughs> Things go wrong, we can nothing. Yeah. Hey, I need you to find me the surgeon. No, he's not here. Just some pervert with an eye patch. Well, let me know when you find him. Here's the guest room, bathroom, living room, kitchen, second bathroom with a shower, boiler room, dark room, laundry room, backyard, front yard, and vibe room. Feeling it? Uh huh. Great. Hey, are you sure about this? Sure about what? I mean, it's kind of you for offering me a place to crash. I'm just trying to figure out why. Given that we just met and it's obvious I'm trying to run away from something that seeks to harm me and could harm you by association. You sound suspicious. Yeah. I mean, I am. Oh. I get it. <laughs> I get it. You want some work done. Oh, 
Let me help the poor plastic surgeon. <laughs> uh, so, what exactly were you thinking? Some body work, add a few inches. That nose could use some work too. Jesus Christ. Not that one, that's my... The eye patch. I think it's cool. It's mysterious, like what's he hiding under there, you know? Carrot! And here I thought you were just helping me because you wanted free surgery. Nope. You were just using me so you could meet my best friend. Think you could introduce us? Nope. Why not? I'm a cosmetic surgeon. So? So, if Eb being Eb with this absurd eye patch can have an obsessive stalker, then what's my purpose? Well, you seem to be obsessed with these objective standards of beauty. It's my profession. I know what looks nice. This isn't nice. It's stupid. It's weird. It's asymmetrical. It's downright fucking creepy. I just need to know if my feelings are reciprocated or not. That's all. I haven't had the opportunity to ask, so if I could just know. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bother you, but... I'm being chased down by some fish cultists that want to turn me into their fish messiah, and I was wondering if you had a place where I could lay low for tonight. Are they cultists that worship fish or fish that belong to a cult? I don't know! Sounds <laughs> like you need some Xanax. Doc? Oh, fuck! Excuse me. Doc, please! You have to help me! It's my fault for thinking Susie was an Ed Sheeran fan. So I would really appreciate it if you could turn me back on my old face without, and I can't stress this enough, any offense intended. Fix my face, you apocalyptic fuck! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't make it as good as it was. Whatever I do, you're still gonna look like a flounder, and Susie's still going to kill me. Flounders are nice. There's no shame in being flounder. What? Don't listen to her. She has a cyclops fetish. Your girlfriend, if I had to guess, isn't mad because you're a flounder. She's mad because you think she won't love you in spite of that. Maybe. I don't know. Susie's not with you? Presently? No. I have an idea. I need to see your kitchen.
Is that you? I'm sorry, Susie. I should have never doubted your love. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, Lemmy. Oh, easy now. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Who did this to you? I... I did it to myself, Susie. With Doc's help, of course. Do you like it? I could care less. Oh. Wow. Can I have some water? Are you thirsty? I'm going to die, Susie. Think you'll let me as I patch? Mm, let's see. There are other reasons to wear an eye patch. Here, I can walk myself. You sure? My legs work fine. So what? You want me to introduce you? Do you really? If someone can love a flounder that deeply, I'm sure there's some hidden peon ebb. Some deeply, deeply hidden, shadowy appeal. Plus, I'm sure he would appreciate a positive comment for once in his life. What happened to you?